In this video, we want to talk about the primary text controls that are offered by Scala FX. There are basically four of these we want to discuss. They are a label, which is something that just displays information that the user can't type into, a text field, which is a single line of input, a text area, which represents multiple lines of, of input, and a password field. So we'll go ahead and create a new file for this. Because we're creating a new file, we need to go through and do a number of imports. We've seen that importing ScalaFX includes is helpful. We have to import the application, our JFX app, so that we can run things. We're going to need to have a scene. So we're going to import scene.scene. <clears throat> And inside of scene, there is also a control package, and that is where all of these other things are. So we want to use label, text field, text area, and, I want to say and, but I don't need to type and there, uh, password field. Okay. That's a good set to, to start with. We might want to, we'll probably have to add extra things if we decide that we want to have some interactivity with these. But at this point, we can lay these out. We can put together our GUI. So we'll write our app. Once again, app is just a variable name. You could call it something else, but since, since that's actually a rather nice name that you probably aren't going to use in a lot of places, it works. We create our app. We make the stage equal to a new JFX app dot primary stage. And then inside of the stage, we will give it a title. And also set up the scene. And we get to give our scene a size. I'm going to say 400 pixels by 400 pixels. And everything else will be nested inside of our scene here. At this point, we can add the different, or create and add the different elements that we had. So I'm going to make a label. It's a new label. And when I create my label, I can give it the string that I want it to say. So that will make it pretty clear what we're looking at. As we've seen before, if I don't do anything with this, it's just going to sit up there in the top left corner. I want to move things out and around at least a little bit. So let's go ahead and set label.layoutx to 20 and label.layouty to 20 as well. Now we'll create a text field. I'll just call it field. Uh, no, we'll call it text field because we're also going to have a password field. Text field equals a new text field. And I want to move it kind of out of the corner as well. So text field dot layout x. I'll line it up vertically so it's at 20 and then give it a Y value that is further down. So we'll space it down by about 30 pixels, assuming that the label is probably going to consume 30-ish pixels. Just to test at this point, we'll go ahead and set the content equal to a list of these two things, label and text field and see if we can run this. We'll run ScalaFX, which remember is a, an alias that I made that includes the hyphen CP for our ScalaFX jar file. And we run this. It starts up the compiler and there we go. Okay, so I have a text field here that I can type stuff into and the label that we set up.
looks good. Let's create the other elements that we want. That would be a text area, is a new text area. We can text area dot layout x. Once again, we're lining things up vertically. Text area dot layout y equals, we'll go another 30 pixels down here. And now text areas get to be multi-line. So this could decide to take up a whole lot of space. I kind of don't want it to run off the bottom because I want to put a password field down below it. So maybe we'll limit it to be 100 pixels in height. That will take it down to, since it starts at 80, that'll take it down to one. Actually, let's go for 200. Yeah, 200 would work. That way it'll go down to 280. That seems reasonable. So text area dot pref height equals 200. And last, we want our password field. Is a new password field. Password field dot layout x is 20. The layout y we're going to set to 230. And I think I'm happy with everything there. Text area password field. Let's see if I've typed that all correctly. Sure enough, it runs. Okay. Uh, hmm. Except clearly I didn't go, that's right, this goes down to 280, so I should have had this one start at 300. You can see that our password field was overlapping onto there. Now it should appear below. There you go. Okay. I've made it 30 pixels below. I guess I could have gone for, for a smaller number, but we're not going to worry too much about the layout at this point. One potential problem with this, so if I were writing this as a, and actually I'm, I'm a little unhappy with the width of that text area, clearly it goes a lot bigger than 400. Maybe we should set its width, set the pref width to be uh, 360. That way we have a 20 buffer on one side, 360 and a 20 buffer on the other would be the, the 400 for the initial size of our window. Okay, I'm fairly happy with this. Because we're not putting labels on each thing, you can't see what we're supposed to type in. And it turns out that for each one of the fields and areas, you can set a prompt text. And that will be text that is displayed when it doesn't have, have focus. So text field dot prompt text equals a field. Area, and this should be text area. And this will change to say password. Okay. Now if we run that, we should get a nice little GUI that whatever has focus we're typing on, but the text that we've put in here shows up inside of the other things. So we've laid it out, we've set everything up. This doesn't do anything when we type though, and we'll come back and add that in the next video.